as it is written, there is none righteous, not even one. There is no one who understands, no one who seeks God. All have turned away. They have together become worthless. There is no one who does good, not even one. Tell he that's beside you, Mr. Worthless, the best night. Welcome. <laughs> Here, we are all worthless regarding the spiritual life. God took the initiative that you didn't understand, and he made you understand you were not righteous, and he justified you. I don't know what free will is there. Well, if there's no one that understands, there's no one that seeks God, so how is God going to create his family? Because what free will teaches is that God created, and then he stood on the sidelines to see who decides for him to form his family. Imagine if there's no one that understand or seek God, then God <laughs> failed in his plan. And then he made a creation and, and created vessels of mercy to form the family of faith. Now there's no one that understand. There isn't one good. There isn't one just. No one that seeks God. And God was doomed. But God doesn't function like that. God wrote a script for a film. And he has those who compose his film. And he says, this one, I want him to come through here. And this one through there. And if he veers off his path, I stop the film, but I'll make him enter into that path. Because that film has to be completed. And when a director of a film says it is this, he makes you repeat the scene a thousand times until you do what he says. God has everything under control. God controls our lives. Speaking of baseball, I receive, I receive. But you know that when I knew very little, well, I, I still need to learn more of the rules of baseball, but you know that in a team, there are batters that are known as the cleanup batters, and they hit many home runs. But what happens when you see an individual like that, well, you say, wow, this man is coming that's a home run for sure with two on base. But when you see one of those individuals just tap the ball, bunt it, I would get bothered. I'd say, well, what is he doing bunting? So I realized that those players have to do what the chief says. And if he tells him, well, what you're going to do is move my batter on first to second, just bunt it and put him in a position to score. He has to do that. If he doesn't do it, he's fired. Because players don't have free will. It's what the chief or the manager says, and the manager has the owner of the team to submit to. No one is free. And even the owner of the team that thinks he's free, he's not free. He's governed. So therefore, you are in a gaming team. And God wants you to do what he says you're going to do. 